Hey everybody, my name is George, and welcome back to MetalDisciple.com's 365 Days of Metal. Today is day six. So yesterday I got a comment from somebody asking me to do some classic death metal albums. Well, okay, here you go. So, um, death metal, uh, you know, uh, pretty much originated in the uh, 80s, but uh, beyond that I'm not really going to commit to who the first death metal band was. Some people say Napalm Death. Some people say possessed. Some people say death. Well, um, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue about that today. Uh, you know, I don't really care. <laughs> but uh, personally, my first death metal experience from a band that I truly consider death metal was death and scream bloody gore. This, you know, this was the first time uh, I ever heard. Any music with the vocals that were just so harsh and growly that that I, I said, you know, this guy sounds like he's Cookie Monster singing. Um, you know, a lot of people use that uh, that phrase to describe death metal singing these days. Uh, who knows where it originated, but uh, I know this was the first time when I heard this album back in 1987. And uh, at the time, I just did not get that album at all. I just couldn't understand why he was singing like that, you know. I was used to bands like Metallica and Megadeth and Slayer and, you know, you know, some harsh thrashy type vocals, but this was just like, wow, this was really out there. And uh, it took me a couple years. I, I think Individual Thought Patterns was probably the first death album where I was like, oh, I get it now. Um, so, you know, in a retrospect sort of thing, I had to come back and, and get back into this, but I did actually buy this on cassette in 19, 1987 when it first came out. Um, I, did, I said I wasn't going to get into the whole who was the first death metal band thing, but I lied a little bit. Um, you know, some people say Napalm Death. I think they're grindcore. Some people say Possessed. Well, they definitely came out a little earlier than Death did, but... Uh, you know, I was looking at Seven Churches today, and uh, while it's technically death metal sounding, um, all the songs are satanic. You know, it's much more black metal, like, you know, in a Venom sort of way, uh, at least thematically. Uh, this was really the first album that had songs that were gory, horror-themed, death metal-style songs, you know? I mean... Zombie Ritual, Regurgitated Guts, that amused me to no end when I first saw this, uh, Baptized in Blood, Torn to Pieces, you know, this is really, to me, where death metal started. And, you know, um, yeah, that's what it is. You know, I, I'm, I'm terribly saddened that Chuck is no longer with us. I can't believe it's been like, what, 10, 12 years now that he's been gone? Oh my gosh, that just blows my mind, you know. Chuck was really something special, and I'm really pretty saddened that he's no longer with us. Anyway, here you go. Um, death, scream bloody gore. I'm going to go watch some football now. I'll see you tomorrow.